Hi guys, today I will be sharing my way of making ube in ibit. The recipe for the ube filling is a lot, so this is triple the amount. So this is 115 grams of purple yam powder. I didn't use this gel food coloring. Um, one and a half teaspoon of ube flavoring, one cup plus two tablespoon of sugar, one can or 300. 95 ml of mi evaporated milk and you can use coconut milk or coconut cream that is 400 ml so to begin we're going to combine all the ingredients so that's the powder ube the coconut milk or coconut cream that's 400 ml Evaporated milk, 395 ml, and the sugar. With the sugar, you can adjust the sweetness, but for me, one cup plus two tablespoons is perfect. So we're, I'm adding the um, ube flavoring, one and a half teaspoon. And then we're just going to continuously mix this until it thickens up and it starts coating the bottom of the pan. Again, this recipe is triple the amount that you will need, but in order to save the ingredients that we open, might as well make it. So this is what it looks like. We will set this aside and we will move on to the sponge cake. Two drops of purple gel food coloring, one teaspoon of ube flavoring, 30 grams of sugar, which is one and a half tablespoon of sugar, 25 grams of melted butter, 1 8 teaspoon of salt, 80 grams of cake flour which is about 6 tablespoon, and 25 ml of milk, 5 egg yolks. So to begin, we're going to combine the salt and the cake flour, give it a mix, and then we will set this aside. Combine the sugar and the egg yolks. Continue to mix this until the mixture is light pale yellow. At this point, we can add the melted butter. Followed by the milk. And now we're going to add the ube flavoring and then we can add the cake flour and then mix this once it's well mixed we can set this aside and we're gonna move on to the meringue for the meringue we need five egg whites and 70 grams of sugar so we're going to beat the egg whites until it is frothy Once it's frothy, we can gradually add the sugar. Once the sugar is all in, continue beating until we reach the stiff peak stage. And this is now the stiff peak stage. We're going to combine the meringue and the egg yolk batter. We're gonna combine the ingredients using the folding method. I'm adding the um, meringue into additions. By the way, the the recipe for this sponge cake is just for one so you need to make another batch of this recipe your oven should be preheated at 160 degrees celsius so once you bake this you're going to make another one so now i'm adding the gel food coloring to adjust the color because I want this to be a deeper purple. And now I'm going to transfer this into a Swiss roll pan lined with parchment paper. I'm going to put a dimension of this Swiss roll pan in the description box. Using a spatula, spread the butter evenly, making sure not to deflate the air from the um, cake. We're going to bake this in a preheated oven at 160 degrees Celsius for about... 15 minutes 
or until when you insert the skewer in the middle and the skewer comes out clean and this is what it looks like after baking set this aside and make one more batch so um for the swiss meringue buttercream i gotta put in the description box where to um get the recipe i just added um one teaspoon of ube flavoring for this or you can just use butter if you don't want to use um swiss meringue buttercream so now we're ready to assemble the cake so i'm putting the ube on top of the um, first layer so first do the blob and then spread this evenly on top of the cake just like so And then on top of this, we're going to add the buttercream. I'd like to use Swiss meringue buttercream for this because it's not too sweet. So again, spread this evenly on top of the ube halaya. Now we're going to put the second layer on top. Remove the parchment paper. Make sure that it is aligned. And then we're going to flip this upside down so we can remove the parchment paper on the other side. Just like this. Now we're going to trim the sides of the cake so it's neat. I didn't do a good job cutting that side. So now we're going to cut the ini bit according to the size that you like. I'm just winging this. I would have cut it a little bit smaller, to be honest. And now, we're going to spread Swiss meringue buttercream again. Again, if you don't want to use Swiss meringue buttercream, just use um, soft butter. Now to finish our inipit, I'm dipping each inipit into um, sugar. And that's about it. You're done at this point. Just to decorate mine, I just use fondant and a little bit of buttercream, but that's totally optional. And this is the finished product. I hope you give this a try. I can guarantee that you're gonna love this. It's so easy to make as well. And just to show you what it looks like, close up and when you bite into the slice. This is so light and fluffy and the sweetness is just right. Please do give it a try. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next week. Bye!